for today let's solve this problem continuous subarrays from the lead code contest 352 first let's understand the problem statement so here they have given zero indexed integer array nums and the subarray of nums is called continuous and subarray means it is continuous and subsequence means it is discontinuous so in this for every subarray for every subarray and every pair in every pair i and j the absolute difference between both of them should be less than or equals to 2 so suppose if you see this 5 4 2 4 and we have like how many subarrays we will get n into n plus 1 by 2 subarrays we will get so 4 into 5 by 2 so we will get around total 10 subarrays so from 10 subarrays we need to see in which subarray the difference between every pair the difference between any pair i i and j should be less than or equal to 2 absolute difference so if you see this carefully uh, we will have continuous subarray of 1 5 4 2 4 in this the maximum value is 5 and the minimum value is 5 and the uh, absolute difference is 0 so for every continuous subarray of size 1 is considered as uh, will considered in the uh, in our answer if we uh, consider a subarray of 2 if you see here the maximum and the minimum 5 4 uh, the absolute difference is 1 4 2 the absolute difference to 2 4 it is same so suppose if we consider 4 5 2 in this the maximum value is 5 and the minimum value is 2 the absolute difference is 3 and 5 4 2 will not be considered 5 4 2 is not considered and 5 4 2 4 is not considered excluding this everything is possible so the answer would be 8 so what will be the pseudo code for this problem uh, we will iterate from 0 to n then j will iterate from i to n and in this subarray from this k is equals to i to j from k is equals to i to j we will calculate the max and min if if the max and min uh, is less than or equals to 2 if the max, uh, max minus min is less than or equals to 2 we will increment our answer in this way we can calculate all the subarrays but the time complexity would be order of n cube because we are iterating this one loop 0 to n and i to n and i to j this will take order of n cube but if you see the constraints here here given 10 power 5 10 power 5 means uh, we can we should calculate in order of n or in worst case order of n into log n in this two scenarios only it will work if you mine uh, if you decrease it to order of n square also it will fail so let's see uh, let's see let's consider this example 5 4 2 4 in initially we have i and j and our max and min are 5 and 5 now j is incremented here now j is incremented here and our max is 5 and min is 4 and the absolute difference is 1 so this is our valid subarray 5 4 2 4 now if you consider this the max is 5 and the min is 2 now if you see this the absolute difference is 3 right so it is not valid so we will this is not valid we will increment i and we will exclude this 5 this max will be decreased now the max is 4 and the min is 2 and if you see this absolute difference is 2 we are considering this and now suppose we have now j is at 4 now the max is 4 and the min is 2 the absolute difference is 2 so it is considered so if you include 4 uh, 4 2 if you include 4 we will get 4 2 4 and 2 4 so we are incrementing 2 times uh, all the subarrays with size 1 are 4 because the number of elements are 4 this 4 plus this one and this one and this one so total 8 and you see this to store the maximum and means for everywhere we need max and min and uh, we want to make an index i to move index move uh, suppose if you increment i to just i plus 1 and i plus 2 then i plus 3 it will take order of n square, n square because we are incrementing i every time suppose if you increment i 
and if our condition is failing at suppose i it is 0 and our condition is failing at 4 so we can directly go to 5 right because the condition is failing at 4 so we need to exclude 4 we know obviously exclude 4 so we can directly go to 5 that's why we can use either priority queue or we can use multi set in multi set uh, the all the array is sorted in ascending order in priority queues we will get max hip and min hip so i have taken two hips this is a small hip so for shortcut i have used it this is min hip and this is max hip in this we will store pair pair of integer comma index and suppose uh, i comma j at 5 uh, 5 comma 0 and 5 comma 0 will be stored now j is incremented uh, this 4 will be checked in this now 4 uh, with max value it will check it with 5 it is uh, 5 minus 4 it is 1 5 minus 4 it is 1 so for the small small and big it is working as expected so if we will push into the queue now 4 is inserted in the small lip 4 comma 1 and 5 comma 0 in the big lip in the max lip 5 comma 0 and 4 comma 1 uh, now then now this 2 will be checked with this if 2 will be checked then with 5 5 minus 2 absolute difference is 3 so it is failing so it is failing so i don't want to insert 2 into this and i want the index i index i such that uh, this 2 need to be satisfied with that index if you exclude 5 if you exclude 5 if you remove index 5 from both the min heap and from the max heap we will be uh, remained with 4 comma 1 and 4 comma 1 this 2 will be checked and then now the absolute difference is 2 and now it is valid so we will push this in push this into this so here we are 2 2 now this j will be checked with this the absolute difference is 2 and the absolute difference is 0 and it is valid so it is inserted so it is inserted now j reach it till the end point so with this if you use max and min heap and if we increment i and j uh, we will get we will reach the end so if uh, let's understand the solution so here we have small heap and here we have big heap and the, the long long because 10 power 5 10 power 5 into 10 power 5 it will be 10 power 10 so it will not fit into the integer so we should use long long integer and it can store up to 10 power 18 now we have i is equals to 0 and j is equals to 0 and we need to j is less than i j should be iterate until n and we have stored i is if i is equals to j we will push into the small and big we will increment the j and we will say it will continue and we have seen here right we have seen this condition if if this this if it is satisfying if it is satisfying uh, absolute difference top first and the uh, min heap first and the max heap first we will increment i will explain it how why we are using here and then we will push and then we will push if it is failing if the um, if small is no, uh, small is not empty and the absolute difference is greater than 2 and h dot top is less than or equals to i it should be less than or equals to i then we will increment and suppose suppose we are going uh, suppose we have like this 5 sub arrays we have it we are at this position we are at this position and until 0 1 2 3 4 it until 3 it got succeed and at 4 it got failed and it 4 4 is failed because of this 2 because of this 2 this 4 is failed so we will come over here right we will check for this for this it is failing for this it is failing and we, we need to go plus 1 right now we want to store the next integer so we will come over here that's why we are incrementing it for the uh, main heap we are incrementing for the max heap we are incrementing and I think this condition should not be there because uh, I think it, it should be there because when i is incrementing suppose uh, we are storing and some 0 1 2 3 4 5 now i has reached here and suppose we are storing this i into the priority queue 
this is not valid right suppose i is here and if i want to include this this is not valid so we need to pop it if this is there we need to pop it and let's see why we are incrementing here we can use directly we'll get an thing that if we can answer is equals to answer plus uh, j minus i into j minus i plus 1 by 2 n into n plus 1 but why we can't do uh, i will explain you suppose if you are taking this if you are taking this uh, all the sub arrays and the 0 to 4 uh, wh what num how many sub arrays are there 5 into 4 by 2 because all the sub arrays with uh, size 1 has been included all include all sub arrays will be 10 5 into 4 by 2 n into n minus 1 by 2 excluding the sub arrays with size 1 and if you go for 3 to 6 it will be 6 and if you go to 6 to 7 it will be 1 if you see it carefully 0 to 4 mm. 0 to 4 in this 3 to 4 3 to 4 sub array is already calculated in this if you go to 3 to 5 in this 3 to 4 sub array is calculated again so these are all duplicate values so we need to exclude that duplicate value so we can use the small change we should uh, instead of using this formula we can do like this if 0 to 4 if the 1 is came then we are incrementing 1 if 0 1 and now I want to insert 2 now we want to insert 2 what will be 0 1 2 will be my 1 sub array and 1 2 will be my sub array total number of sub arrays will be 3 in the same way if you want to include 3 0 1 2 3 will be my sub array 1 2 3 and 2 3 here we will increment 3 and here increment 4 now if you are going for 3 to 5 here 3 to 4 is already calculated if you use that formula this 3 to 4 will be calculated again and we will get answer as 3 into 2 by 2 we will get 3 and it is not valid what we can do simple is that 3 and 4 are already included now we are going for 5 we will go for 3 4 5 3 4 5 and 4 5 if it's 6 7 directly 1 that's why we are incrementing the answer over here if you are if if this condition is true if 3 and 4 is there if j is at 5 if this condition is true we will directly incrementing plus 2 that's it so what would be the time complexity over here for the priority queues it will take order of size of priority queue how much size of priority queue and and we are iterating one time right so order of n into size of order of log of size of priority queue this would be our time complexity and the space complexity would be order of size of priority queue and i think you understood this solution and thank you for watching